Hello guys, welcome to my third class of McLaren series. In this case, in this uh, class, we are going to discuss few more problems based on different type of problems based on McLaren series. This way, I written this is a third problem. We already discussed in the previous class two problems. Expand log of secant x. Expand log of secant x up to the term containing x to the power of six using McLaren series. Using which one? McLaren series. So carefully, now first we have to write down as usual, uh, we know that what is my uh, McLaren series for the function f of x. McLaren's series for the function f of x is, yeah, f of x equals f of 0 plus x by 1 factorial into f dash of 0 plus x square by 2 factorial into f double dash of 0 plus x cube by 3 factorial into f triple dash of 0 etc. They are asking to expand up to the term containing what actually x to the power of 6. Therefore, first try to find out up to which derivative 6 to derivative. Because you already know that x square multiplied with f double dash of 0, x cube is multiplied with f double dash of 0. So, first you have to take a given function is nothing but log of secant x. Now, we can't simplify. Therefore, first try to find out what is my f of 0. Log of secant 0. What is secant uh, 0 value is 1. Secant 0 is 1, but log 1, keep in mind in the mathematics, <coughs> simply write uh, log means keep in mind the basis must be e. Don't confuse with your co subject. In the mathematics, log means the bc. Therefore, log 1 bc is what actually 0. Therefore, f of 0 is 0. First, you have to find out the first derivative. What is first derivative? First, you find out derivative of log 1 by secant x into derivative of secant x is secant x into tan x. Secant x and uh, secant x is cancel. Okay. What is the remaining here? Tan x. What is f dash of 0? Tan 0. What is tan 0 value? 0. Next, no, we can't express tan x in terms of the previous because previous is involving a uh, log. We can't express tan x in terms of log. If I have to find out the next derivative, what is next derivative? f double dash of x. What is my f double dash of x? Derivative of tan x is secant square x. Yeah. Because, see, I'm not going to proceed next <coughs> higher derivative. Why? Because Derivative of secant square x is what? 2 secant x into the derivative of secant x is secant x into tan x. It's very tedious. What we get certain actually? 2 into secant square x into tan x. It's very tedious. Therefore, what I'm going to do here, before moving to the next step, now I'm going to simplify using the fundamental thing. Uh, the One of the relation you know that 1 plus tan square x nothing but secant square x. Why I am going to express uh, tan secant square in terms of tan? Because you already know that what is uh, f dash of x is tan x. Once we express secant square in terms of tan, then I am going to replace this by in terms of the previous derivative. 1 plus tan square x. Now this can also be written as 1 plus f dash of x whole square. It's a way I have to simplify. Suppose I continue as itself what you have secant square goes on increasing the product of function. It's very tedious because I also want to find out up to how many derivatives, sixth derivative. Therefore, very tedious. That's why I have to told number of times from the beginning of the problem. After each and every derivative, is it possible I to simplify and then proceed? Then it's possible to find out without confusion up to higher derivative of the given function. What is my f double dash of 0? It's nothing but 1 plus f dash of 0 whole square. What is f dash of 0? 
zero. Now we get f double dash of zero. It's one. Next, try to find out the next derivative, third derivative. F double dash of x. One is zero. What is derivative of f dash of four? We have two into f dash of x into derivative of f dash of x is f double dash of x. Now we can't express this in terms of the previous. Now I have to leave it as itself. Then find out what is f double dash of zero. Two into f dash of zero into f double dash of f double dash of zero. Finally, we get zero because f dash of zero is zero. Zero into any non-zero value is zero. <coughs> Next, I to find out fourth derivative. What is fourth derivative? Is we go for product rule. While taking product rule, observe carefully that is a very very important. Two is a constant. Okay, fine. Derivative of f dash is f double dash. That is already second function is f double dash. We get f double dash of x whole square. Don't confuse here. Is the product of two function and go for product rule. What is derivative of first function? F double dash of x. But second function also f double dash of x. Just like x into x. What is x into x? Is x square plus two into two is a constant. They try to multiply both the term. Two into first function. So what is the derivative of the second function? Is f double dash of x. Now I have to find out what's the value of fourth derivative of zero. 2 into f double dash of 0. What is f double dash of 0? 1. Therefore, 1 square plus 2 into what is f dash of 0 value here? f dash of uh, 0 value. Yeah. f dash of uh, what about that uh, 0 value? Uh, observe carefully. Uh, f dash of uh, 0 is 0, but f uh, third derivative also 0. Therefore, finally we get 2. Fourth derivative of zero is two because two plus zero is zero. Next is fifth derivative of this. What is derivative of f double dash of x? Twice of two into two is four. F double dash of x. What's the derivative of f double dash? F triple dash of x. Here you go for product rule. What is derivative of f dash? F double dash of x into second function plus two into First function into derivative of the second function means f fourth derivative of x. Next to derivative of third derivative is fourth. Before moving to the next step, I have to simplify that. 2 into observe 4 f double dash of x into f double dash of x plus 2 times of f double dash of x into f double dash of x. Both are must be have must be same. Um, same function have the fact is to be get 6 times of f double dash of x into f triple dash of x. Don't leave it as itself. Why should why we go for twice for product rule for both the terms? 2 into f dash of x into f fourth derivative of x. That implies what is my uh, fifth derivative of 0? 6 into what is f double dash of 0 value? f double dash of 0 is uh, 1. Okay, fine. Into f triple dash of 0 is 0. Plus 2 into f dash of 0 is 0, but fourth derivative is 2. But totally, the uh, sum must be 0. Next, I want to find out sixth derivative. Means again, I have to differentiate on both sides. 2 into Again, you go for this product of two function product rule. What is derivative of f double dash? f triple dash. But second function also f triple dash we get square. Plus 6 into first function into derivative of the second function is fourth derivative of x. Now, plus 2 into observe carefully. Again, go for product rule. What is the derivative of f dash? Is f double dash of x into second function plus 2 into f dash of x into what's the next derivative of fourth is fifth derivative. Before move to the next step, similar term, uh, similar terms add it and then uh, write the simple form. Sixth derivative of the given function is nothing but 
six times of f w f triple dash of x whole square. Okay. Plus these two are must be same term. Add these two, we get eight times of f double dash of x into f fourth derivative of x plus two times of f dash of x into f fifth derivative of x. Put x is equal to zero. Once you put x is equal to zero, we already know that f double dash of zero is zero, zero square. Plus eight into f double dash of zero is one. F fourth derivative is two plus two into f dash is zero, f fifth also zero. Totally we get eight to the sixteen. Sixteen is the value of sixth derivative. See, this is the easiest way to find out highest derivative of the given function, even though the function having log log of secant x. Therefore, the next we suppose I to take uh, the given uh, what you written. McLaren series as star, then substituting these values, we get f of x is the given function log of secant x equals what is my f of 0? f of 0, just few minutes before we calculated, f of 0 is 0, f dash of 0 is 0, therefore the term is 0 f double dash of 0 is 1, x square by 2 factorial into 1. Again, x cube by 3 factorial, f double dash of 0 is 0, therefore we are neglecting. x to the power of 4 by 4 factorial into 2. Again, x to the power of 5 by 5 factorial into 5 to derivative of 0, therefore entire term must be 0. x power of 6 by 6 factorial into what actually? 16. If you want simplify further, otherwise you're going to leave as it's a definitely we get full marks. Now, before moving to the next problem, I, I want to discuss once again for this problem. Now, I'm going for a little bit zoom out for the given uh, function. Now, the given uh, problem is actually um, expand log secant x up to the term containing x to the power of 6 using Suppose they may be mentioned using McLaren series, I may not be also observe carefully and then proceed. In terms of x means I go for McLaren series. Now first you write the McLaren series expansion. After that, observe carefully that we, you know we have to expand up to the term containing x to the power of 6. Therefore, I have to first try to find out up to 6th derivative of the given function at x is equal to 0. First you take the given function, put x is 0, f of 0 f of 0 is log 1. What is secant 0 is 1. Log means in the mathematics base e, log 1 base e is what actually? 0. You already know that. Then, after that, see after the uh, uh, this, now I have to find out the first derivative. Once you find out the first derivative, what is derivative of log 1 by the function? Derivative of secant is secant x into tan x. Now, after the simplification, we get tan x, but you can't write tan x in terms of the previous. Therefore, I have to find out directly what is derivative of tan x, secant square x. Don't find out directly tan secant square x, next higher derivatives. What happens goes on increasing the uh, product of function. Uh, then here I want to find out up to sixth derivative. Go by higher derivative is very complicated. Now, before move to the next step, I am going to express secant square in terms of tan. Why? Because tan x is equal to f dash of x. Therefore, from the fundamental relation, 1 plus tan square x is nothing but secant square. Replace it, the tan x is f dash of x. We get f dash of x whole square. Now, this is a way I have to, come, I have to write it, the given function in the simplest form. And then you automatically find out the derivative of 4 and 5. Before move to the next step, as possible, I have to simplify and proceed. This is the easiest way I have to find out the required derivative what up to till 6th derivative. And x is equal to 0. And then substitute these values in the McLaren so series for the function f of x. Then finally we get expansion of log of secant x up to the term containing x to the power of 6 using McLaren series. Without ambiguity, this is the easiest way I have to find out the solution of the given problem. That's why before move to the next uh, 
step, I am requesting everyone for each and every derivative to before move to the next step as possible at simplify. Try to convert the present function as simplest form, then easy to proceed for the higher derivatives. Okay. The next problem, those who want, I do not why because those who want uh, screenshot, you take it. Okay. Similarly, next problem. Overall, fourth problem, or today uh, this class is uh, based on the second problem. Okay. Fourth problem, it find tan x about the point x is equal to pi by 4. Up to the third degree terms and hence find tan of forty six degree. Yeah, up to k with this problem, solution. Expand tan x about the point x is equal to pi by 4. Up to the third degree term means I find out up to third derivative term and hence find the tan of 46 degree, the second degree. Expand the tan x about the point. About the point means about not x is equal to 0, about the point what they given x is equal to pi by 4, means they are to expand the, uh, the series up to the term containing a, x cube using Taylor series, observe carefully, about 0 means that is another way to ask for Maclaurin series, about 0 means x is equal to 0 means I go for Maclaurin series, other than 0 means I go for Taylor. Now we can't expand by using Maclaurin series. It's not zero. Other than zero, therefore we have to expand by using which one? Uh, uh, Taylor series. First you write down the what is our general formula for Taylor series. Taylor series. For f of x about about pi by 4. About pi by 4 means a is equal to pi by 4. You know what is my general expansion of Taylor series. What is the general expansion of Taylor series? f of x is equal to f of a plus x minus a by 1 factorial into f dash of a etc. This is my Taylor series point. About a point a. What is a value they given? What about non-zero value they given? That is my a. Please try to understand that. Don't do the con no, confusion here. A value, what's the value they given? That is our A. Yes. F of x equals F of pi by 4 plus plus x minus pi by 4 divided by 1 factorial into f dash of pi by 4 plus x minus pi by 4 whole square divided by 2 factor into f double dash of pi by 4 plus x minus pi by 4 whole cube divided by 3 factor into f triple dash of pi by 4 plus etc. Okay. Now I have to take, uh, I have to find out up to which derivative, third derivative not at, at x is equal to 0, at x is equal to pi by 4. Yeah, keep in mind what the value they given about that is our a. What is my f of x? Tan x. What is tan f of pi by 4? Tan of pi by 4. You already know that. 
What is tan of pi by 4 is 1. Okay. Next, try to find out the first derivative. What's the first two derivative? Derivative of tan is secant. Well, before move to that, we already discussed in the previous problem, secant square can also be written as tan because then easy to proceed up to third derivative instead of secant square, what we get f of x whole square. That implies what is my f dash of 0, sorry not 0, f dash of 5 by 4. 1 plus f of 5 by 4 whole square. 1 plus what is f of 5 by 4 is 1, we get 1 plus 1 is 2. Similarly, I have to find out second derivative. Don't find out this, I have to find out this. Two, uh, what, uh, what is this? This one. 2 times of f of x into what is derivative of f of x is f dash of x. That implies what is f double dash of pi by 4. It's nothing but 2 into f of pi by 4 into f dash of pi by 4. 2 into f of pi by 4 is 1, f dash of pi by 4 is 2, 2, 2 is 4. Now I can't uh, express this in terms of the previous and leave it as it is find out directly third derivative. We go for product rule. What is derivative of f of x, f dash of x? Second function also f dash of x. Multiply that we get square. 2 into first function into derivative of the second function, f double dash of x. That implies what is my f triple dash of pi by 4. What is f triple dash of pi by 4 is nothing but 2 times of f dash of pi by 4 whole square plus 2 times of f of pi by 4 into f dash of pi by 4, f uh, double dash of pi by 4. Yeah. Now I have to put x is equal to pi by 4, we get automatically what is my uh, third derivative at pi by 4. It's nothing but, yeah. Automatically we get after the simplification for this. 2 times of what is f dash of pi by 4? What is my f dash of pi by 4? This 2. 2 square. Correct? f dash of pi by 2, 4 square is 2 square. Okay. Plus 2 into f of pi by 4. What is f of pi by 4 is 1? f double dash of pi by 4 is 4. Okay, 8 plus 8 is nothing but 6. Yeah. Now, if you want to take this as star, now I have to substitute these values in star. We get tan x equals, this implies tan x equals f of pi by 4 is 1, okay, plus x minus pi by 4 by 1 factorial, yeah, into, yeah, that uh, multiplied by f dash of pi by 4. What is my f dash of pi by 4? f dash of uh, pi by 4 is 1, 2, sorry, 2, plus x minus pi by 4 whole square by 2 factorial into f double dash is 4 x minus pi by 4 whole cube divided by 3 factorial into 16. Yeah. This is the expansion of tan x up to the term containing x to the power of, uh, term containing up to the term containing uh, cube degree, third degree term about the point x is equal to pi by 4. This is a way I to expand other than 0 by using Taylor's Series. Whenever we are going to take Taylor series, carefully I have to take the value of a. About means what is the value they given, that is nothing but our a value. This is if a tan x expansion about the point x is equal to pi by 4 up to the degree, third degree term. Next one, they are asking to find out tan of uh, what about that, the 46 degree. Just you put x is equal to 46 degree. Put in the right hand side, up to which term? Term that gives us approximate value of tan of 
46 degree. This is nothing but tan of 46 degree is not accurate value. If we want to compare that, you find out separately tan of 46 degree calculator. Put 46 degree for this four terms. 1, 2, 3, 4. Simplify that, definitely have some uh, error. But we say that this is a tan of 46 degree up to the term containing third degree term. Is it okay or not? Yeah, you just you put uh, 46 degree in the right hand side, you calculate it. You get some value. I'm going to say that that is approximate value of tan of 46 degree. Use calculator, find out tan 46 degree. Definitely both are not same, have some uh, difference. That is called error. That is called error. Still, I want to add some more terms. You please write down. Still, add some more terms. Definitely, tan 46 degree uh, must be equal to sum of these terms in the right hand side. It's a way to reduce the error. Is it okay? No, once uh, in the first class, uh, you observed the animation for uh, McLaren series. How much terms had adding is depends upon until reached error must be zero. See, this tan, 40, tan of 46 degree value same as some of the terms, once you put x is equal to 46 degree, then that much term we have to need to so, uh, same as tan of 46, then we get difference must be zero. Difference is zero means what? Error is zero. Is it okay? No, you know how to calculate the output x is equal to 46 degree. Calculate it, then we say that that's an approximate value. Because still have error. How can you know that? Find out tan of 46 degree using calculator. Definitely both the values are not same. Okay. Now we we'll move to the next problem. Move to the next problem. Yeah. Before move, we we'll move to the next problem. Anybody want this entire problem one screenshot? It's a simple problem. You take it. Okay. Yeah. Next problem. The fifth problem. Expand. Log of 1 plus sin x up to the term Containing x to the power of 4 by using what actually I take one up to the term containing x to the power of 4 means by using which series? McLaren series in, in power of x. Because you look like a simple function, how I to proceed, how to simplify, I want to explain. Therefore, I am going to control this problem. First, I am going to write what is my McLaren series formula. McLaren series for the function, for the function f of x is f of x is equal to a uh, whatever factor first term f of 0 plus x by 1 factor into f dash of 0 plus x square by 2 factor into f double dash of 0 etc. It is already mentioned how I expand up to the term containing x to the power of 4. First try to find out up to which derivative fourth derivative. First try to take let f of x is equal to the given function. For the given function log of 1 plus sin x. That implies what is my f of 0? Log of sin 0 is 1 plus 1 is there. Sin 0 is 0. Uh, what we are going to take here? Sin 0 is uh, uh, 0. Now what we get actually log of 1. Okay. 1 plus 0 is 1. Log 1 base is 0. Okay, fine. Now, first you can't simplify. Therefore, first you find out first derivative. First you remove the log. 
1 by 1 plus sin x into derivative of sin x is cos x. Yeah, suppose leave it as itself. If you want to find out the next directly, second derivative, f double dash of x, what happen? I go for which rule? Quotient rule. Okay, second derivative, okay, quotient rule. Again, I want to find out third derivative, fourth. It's very tedious, very complicated to proceed for higher derivative. Because here I want to find out up to which derivative, fourth derivative. Therefore, before moving to the next step, using the fundamental trigonometric relation, I'm going to simplify this. You already know that cos 2x, they have three forms. 2 cos square x minus 1, 1 minus 2 sin square x, and also the another first form is cos square x minus sin square x. And also, uh, what actually sin 2x is nothing but, sin, not sin square x, sin 2x is nothing but 2 sin x cos x. Okay, what I'm going to do here, now, this cos x, I'm going to write using this formula. Yeah, cos 2x means half of that. Cos x means half of that, what we get? Cos square of x by 2, half of x, x by 2, minus sin square of x by 2, divided by, yeah. Now, 1 can be written as, you already know the sin 2x is 2 sin x cos x, therefore I'm going to write 2 half of that means sin of x by 2 cos x by 2. Then you already know that cos square x plus sin square x must be equal to 1 and also cos square of x by 2 sin square of x by 2 also 1. Therefore, 1 can be written as cos square of x by 2 plus sin square of uh, x by 2. Sin x can be written as 2 sin of x by 2 into cos, of, cos x by 2. Why I am going to write like that? Once you write like that, this is nothing but a square plus b square plus 2ab. Now still I am simplifying uh, our uh, first derivative. This is a square minus b square. What is a square minus b square? a plus b into a minus b. Means cos of x by 2. Yes, uh, yeah, just a minute. I am uh, going to remove one and write once again. Cos of, yeah, cos of x by 2. My, uh, minus was a plus b into a minus b plus yes cos what about that uh, a plus b into a minus b means what actually cos of x by 2 plus sin of x by 2 into cos of x by 2 minus sin of x by 2 whole divided by a plus b a plus b whole square, a square plus b square plus 2ab, a is cos x by 2 plus sin of x by 2. Yeah, why I insist cos is a because this is already already taken, a is cos x by 2, so b is sin of x by 2. Now observe carefully whole square, this is whole square, a square plus b square plus 2ab is a plus b whole square. Now this term is considered square of that. What's the remaining here? The remaining for still I'm doing the simplification f dash of x is nothing but cos of x by 2 minus sin of x by 2 full divided by cos of x by 2 plus sin of x by 2. Both numerator and denominator divide by cos x by 2. Both numerator and denominator divide by what? Cos of x by 2. Okay, what we get? One should take inside cos x by 2, cos x by 2 cancel. 1 minus sin x by 2 divided by, not multiplied, both numerator denominator divided by cos x by 2. Sin x by 2 by cos x by 2 is tan x by 2. Okay, divided by cos x by 2, cos x by 2 is cancelled. Plus again we, we get tan, tan of x by 2. This can also be written as f dash of x must be equal to 1 is nothing but tan of i by 4. Just few minutes before previous problem you know that uh, 1 can be written as tan of i by 4 minus tan of x by 2 divided by 1 plus tan x by 2 can also be written as 1 into tan of uh, x by 2 is nothing but it's nothing but actually tan of i by 4 into tan of x by 2. 
okay this is just like a what one of the formula tan a minus tan b divided by 1 plus tan a tan b is nothing but tan of a minus b what is a pi by 4 minus a by 2 that is a fundamental thing yeah because of that i simplify otherwise it's very tedious what i did with little f of we are not going to use any extraordinary thing with the f of your fundamental uh, trigonometric relation as possible i simplify now your cost this can be written as uh, cos cos square x by 2 minus sin square x by 2 using cos 2x formula sin x can be written as using sin 2x 2 into sin of x by 2 into cos of x by 2 one can be written as cos square x plus sin square x. Half of that I am going to take because it's already have x by 2. This is nothing but why are written like that a square plus b square plus 2ab. We get a plus b 4 square. This is can be written as a plus b into a minus b cancel. And then divide both numerator and denominator by cos x by 2. And then why I divide then it's possible to write tan of a minus b. What is uh, then we get 1 minus tan of x by 2 divided by plus tan of x by 2. One can also be written as tan of pi by 4. Then I to simplify this, what we get actually? Tan of a minus b. What is a pi by 4 minus x by 2. This is a simple, you can't simplify further. This is a simple way we get a function. From this, what is my uh, f uh, dash of 0? f dash of 0 means tan of pi by 4 because x is 0. What is tan of pi by 4 value? It's nothing but 1. Therefore, what we get actually? f dash of uh, 0 is 1. Next, I want to find out f double dash of x. What is derivative of tan? Secant square of pi by 4 minus x by 2 into, we have to take care for this derivative of tan is what secant square of what actually pi by 4 minus 6 minus x by 2 what is derivative of pi by 4 minus x by 2 with respect to x so just like uh, this one you please try to understand sine of x square how to differentiate sine of x square with respect to x this first you find out derivative of sine is cos of x square into derivative of x square with respect to x is 2x Derivative of tan is secant square of pi by 4 minus x 0 minus derivative of x by 2 with respect to x 1 by 2. What we get? Minus half of secant square of pi by 4 minus x. But you already know that uh, secant can also be written as tan. Why I am going to express tan? Once you express tan, then I have to replace it, replace it by f dash. Instead of finding the high, next to derivative of secant square, the easiest way to find out the derivative is f double dash. Secant square is 2 secant or uh, secant x into derivative of secant is what? Secant x into tan x. What we get? 2 secant square x into tan x is very tedious. Therefore, this can also be written as 1 plus tan square of pi by 4 minus x. Well, this implies what is my f double dash of x minus half of 1 plus what is tan of pi by 4 minus x by 2 is nothing but f dash of x. What we, what we get actually here, this is nothing but if we want to put a square bracket out there, f dash of x whole square. Yeah. We observe this is a one of important problem. That's why I'm going to do it on the board. What is f double dash of zero? What is f double dash of zero minus half of one plus f dash of zero? What is my f dash of zero? One, one square. One plus one is two. Two is two cancel. What we get actually minus one. This is a value of what f double dash of zero. I move to next. Next to derivative. What's the next derivative? From this, we have to find out third derivative. F double dash of, yeah, not far from this, from this, yeah. From this step only, yeah, F double dash of x. 
minus of is a constant. Okay. Yeah, this is zero. What is derivative of f dash of x whole square two times the f dash of x? What's the derivative of f dash of x? F double dash of x. Just now I explain sine of x square. First you find out derivative of sine is cos of x square into derivative of x square is 2x. First you find out derivative of the power and then find out derivative of f dash. 2 to cancel what we get? Minus f dash of x into f, du f double dash of x. Therefore, what is my f double dash of 0? Minus of minus 1 into what is f dash of 0? f dash of 0 is 1. What is f double dash of 0 is minus 1. Minus into minus plus. We get the value of f triple dash of 0 is 1. I move to next fourth derivative. What is my fourth derivative of this? Now, uh, if you want to better to keep minus sign outside, okay, fine. What is uh, go for product rule? What is the derivative of f dash? f double dash. But second function also f double dash. Therefore, f double dash of x whole square plus f first function into derivative of the second function means f triple dash of x. Don't confuse here. Observe carefully derivative of the first function is f double dash of x. Second function also f double dash of x. x into x is x square like that. From this, what is f fourth derivative of 0? What is f fourth derivative of 0? Put x is equal to 0 minus of f double dash of 0. What is f double dash of 0 here? You just now we calculated f double dash of 0 is minus 1. Minus 1 whole square. Plus what is f dash of 0 is 1. Into f double dash of 0 is 1. Minus 1 whole square is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Minus 2. Yeah, this is the easiest way to find out the value. Now, substituting these values in the series of uh, McLaren series, what we get actually? Log of 1 plus sin x must be equal to yeah, whatever that uh, f of 0 is 0 therefore we are going to neglect that term 1 by 1 factorial into 1 plus x square by 2 factorial into what is f double dash of 0 is minus 1 plus x cube by 3 factorial into what is f triple dash is 1 x to the power of 4 by 4 factorial into minus 2 this is a way I take band log of 1 plus sin x in up to the in powers of x up to the term containing x to the power of 4. Now before move to the next problem, now just we recall, uh, recall, recall once again how you have to proceed this. Okay. Uh, anybody want a screenshot, you please take uh, simultaneously. It's not possible. I have to show it entire problem in one screenshot because it's a very lengthy problem. Suppose zoom out very very small, we get uh, zoom out uh, much, we are not able to see in the mobile. So, I am going to show it half of the problem. In twice I am going to show that, uh, two screens I am going to show, show that this problem, uh, not in one at a time, one screenshot, better to take two. Yeah. First, well, you already know that expand up to the term x to the power of 4 means I have to find out up to 4th derivative using McLaren series. First, you take the given function, find out f of 0. After we get f of 0, find out the first derivative. Once you find out the uh, first derivative, then we get cos x by 1 plus sin x. Don't proceed like that because suppose you find out next derivative directly from this step, what happens? We get, uh, you go for quotient rule. Okay, second derivative. But I want to find out up to fourth derivative. From the quotient rule, I have to find out third and fourth is very tedious. Therefore, we are going to simplify using fundamental trigonometric relation. Cos 2x is cos square x minus sin square x. Half of that is cos square of uh, x by 2 sin square of x by 2. One can be written as cos square x plus sin square x. But here sin x, sin 2x is 2 sin x square sin x into cos x, half of that is 2 sin x of x by 2 into cos of x by 2. Therefore, what we are going to take one is uh, based on our requirement cos square of x by 2 plus sin square of x by 2. Now, we get a square plus b square plus 2ab is nothing but a plus b whole square. 
Numerator is nothing but a square minus b square from the fundamental relation a plus b into a minus b. These two are cancelled and then multiply and divided by cos of x by 2. Why I have to multiply and divide it by cos of x by 2? This is in, then is turned over to tan, tan of a minus b. 1 minus tan x by 2 divided by 1 plus tan x by 2. Now I am going to write 1 is tan of pi by 4. Finally, we get tan of a minus b is pi by 4 minus x by 2. And then you find out immediately what is my f dash of 0 value. After that, I have to find out what actually f double dash. Once you find out f double dash, tan is uh, changed to secant square of pi by 4 minus x by 2 into derivative of this bracket. Derivative of each one, this bracket. Pi by 4 uh, minus uh, x by 2 is 0 minus 1 by 2. Derivative of s with respect to f is 1. Now, don't move straightly third and fourth derivative. Why? Because secant square we get after the differentiation 2 into secant square is equal to tan x. It's not x actually here. Pi by 4 minus uh, x by 2. Yeah. Just a minute. This is actually x by 2. Yeah. x by 2. I, did, I explained but while writing that simply I written x. Uh, sorry. This is x by 2. Okay. Fine. Now. Uh, this using fundamental uh, relation, I'm going to express express uh, in terms of tan. Why? Because f dash of x is nothing but in terms of tan. Therefore, now one minus half into one plus tan square of pi by four minus six by two. Then this is nothing but minus half into one plus f dash of x. Uh, this is not whole square. Again, I did mistake here. Observe carefully. Yeah, while doing problem. I did correct, but please try to understand that. Yeah. Explain uh, this is whole square. Okay, fine. Two uh, comes inside. Okay, fine. I think it's clear. F dash of x whole square. This is only a bracket for minus half. Then you find out the derivative. What we get? Yeah. While writing here, I written correctly. F dash of x whole square. This square comes inside. Okay. One square. What is one square? My one square is one. We get my two two cancel. We get minus one. Find out the third derivative. Now go for product two. You know the steps we already discussed uh, in the previous class and also this class also. Then we get automatically. And then you find out fourth derivative. This is the easiest way I to find out all the derivative. That's why before move to the next problem, I'm try to understand that McLaren series expansion is very easy. Once you find out the derivative, sometimes from the suppose the given function itself is possible to simplify to narrate simple function, you simplify using fundamental trigonometric relation. And then suppose it's not possible, find out the first derivative. After the first derivative, is it possible to Simplify to try to express in terms of the previous derivative, simplify that. Instead of better, uh, try to simplify whenever having a trigonometric function, better to that trigonometric function I to eliminate. Because trigonometric function I to uh, constantly can't say that same. Secant square, especially 2 secant square x into tan x for the first derivative. So, of course, eliminate that trigonometric function, then easy to proceed for the higher derivative. Keep in mind. Whenever having a trigonometric function, better at express in terms of the trigonometric function. If, if, is it possible at express in terms of uh, f dash of x or f of x? Then, uh, then easy to find out the higher derivative of the given function. Next and last problem for the McLaren series. Yeah, yeah, we have so many problems. I'm going to share my e-content notes. Please go through that. Yeah, if you have any doubt, you please contact through the mail. Next and last problem, this is actually fifth problem, I think so. Yeah, yeah, just a minute. Sixth problem, we already solved totally from the last class to this class. Uh, this is a sixth problem. Okay, fine. Expand log x in powers of x minus 1 up to 
फोर डिग्री अप्स अप टू फोर डिग्री Yeah, observe carefully one uh, thing here. I take one log x prime, not in power of x. In power of x minus one. I told other than in power of x minus one, I go for. I am. Um, you can't. Uh, you can't by using McLaren series. Yeah, this is one of the problem. Here is not mentioned. I go for Taylor's or McLaren's. You only have to identify. I go for which series to. x prime log x in power of x minus 1 other than in power of x means i go for which series taylor series what is our general formula for taylor series here f of x is equal to f of a plus x minus a by 1 factor in f dash of a etc now first you have to write uh, what about uh, taylor series we know that i think is clear why i am going to choose taylor series here Other than in power of x series for f of x, in power of that is I'm writing general formula. Power of x minus e is in power of x minus e is what is that actually? F of x must be equal to f of e plus x minus e by one factorial into f dash of e. Plus x minus a whole square by two factorial into f double dash of a, etc. But here I want to expand in power of x minus one. Therefore, compare x minus a to x minus one. What's the value that implies? What's the value of a is one? Therefore, put a is equal to one. Taking the value of a, especially giving in power means observe. Suppose they are asking in power of x plus one means you compare with x minus a, yeah. Then what that implies what's the value of a is minus one because x plus one can be written as x minus of minus one. Okay. You compare with the general expansion of Taylor series, then you choose it. That implies what is my f of x? F of x is nothing but f of one plus x minus one by one factor into f dash of one plus x minus one whole square by two factorial into f double dash of one. This is a actually it's not zero one etc. Means first you find out the derivative of the function up to fourth derivative at which point one not for zero at which point. Especially in Taylor series expansion we are going to use to construct. Don't decide it immediately for what value to find out derivative. First, you what they ex expecting in the problem in power of what? Then first you narrate from the Taylor series. After that, you decide to find out derivative of the function at which value? Which value here? One. Very suppose x plus one means at which value? Minus one. Okay. Now let f of x equals What's the function log x? What's log one? Log was what is my f of one? Log one. What's log one? Base e must be log one. What's the base uh, e value is zero. We move to the next f dash of x. What is my f dash of x? What is derivative of log x? One by x. What is f dash of zero? One. See, uh, it's not zero. Sorry. F dash of one, sorry. F dash of one. No, sorry, I did mistake. See, first derivative at which point? All value at which point? All derivative one, one by one. What is one by one? Is one. Okay, fine. What is next derivative? F double dash of x minus one by x. Very already know that is very simple function. What is F double dash of one? Is minus one. Similarly, find out uh, third and fourth derivative. Yeah, okay. What is my third uh, derivative? Yeah, you already know that. What is derivative of my uh, minus uh, minus one into what is derivative of one by x square minus two by x cube? What we get actually two by x cube. Okay. That implies what is third derivative at one? It's two. 
Similarly, I have to find out fourth derivative. What is fourth derivative value? 2 into what is derivative of x cube? Minus 3 by x to the power of 4. This is nothing but minus 6 by x to the power of 4. That implies what is fourth uh, uh, derivative of 0? What is fourth derivative of so not 0, sorry, fourth derivative of 1? Fourth derivative of 1. This is what actually minus 6. This is a way to find out derivative value at 1. The next step is we have to substitute these values with if you want to take this as star. Okay. okay. Yeah, f of x must be equal to what is my uh, not necessary to write f of x write the what is my f of x what is uh, uh, f of x is nothing but log x okay fine okay. log x equals f of 1 what is f of 1 is 0 you neglect it x minus 1 by 1 factorial into f dash of 1 this f dash of 1 1 plus x minus 1 whole square by 2 factorial into f double dash of 1 is minus 1 plus x minus 1 whole cube by 3 factorial into yeah 3 factorial into what is f double dash is 2 plus x minus 1 to the power of 4 by 4 factorial into what the value of f fourth derivative of 1 is minus 6. This is nothing but expansion of log x in powers of x minus 1. In powers of what? x minus 1 up to which degree term? Fourth degree term. Now, here we expand using what actually? Using a Taylor series. I think it's clear everyone. If, uh, we, I solved uh, totally six problems to get familiarized for how to expand for the given function using McLaren series and also Taylor series. Anybody want a screenshot for this to take it uh, because uh, then uh, uh, that's why I'm showing the entire problem in uh, one screenshot. Just a minute. Yeah. Yeah. Observe carefully and then you have to take the entire problem in one uh, screenshot. Okay. I think uh, everyone is clear how we expand log x. I solved two problems for using uh, out of six, using the uh, Taylor series, rest of four I solved by using McLaren. Keep in mind, about a point means also I go for Taylor series. About what's a point you have other than zero, I have to take uh, a value is that, about pi by four, about one. Sometimes they're going to give expand in powers of x plus one, x minus one. There also I go for Taylor series. You compare with uh, x minus 1 with x minus a, choose the value of a. After that, I have to decide that to find out derivative at which point, especially using Taylor series. But whenever you want to expand uh, any series in powers of a, there um, we are going to use McLaren series. And also, while finding the derivative of the function for each and every step, before moving to the next step, Please take care. Is it possible to simplify it in terms of the previous using fundamental trigonometric relation? Once you simplify it, then it's easy to find out the higher derivative. And also, whenever having trigonometry function, try to overcome that trigonometry function. Because once you have trigonometry function, higher derivative is not easy to find out. Therefore, how to overcome and to express in terms of the previous derivative, maybe a dash of x or Okay, this points so you keep in mind whatever functions are going to give in the exam or in the test, easy to solve, easy to score the marks comfortably. Okay, thank you very much listening my what I explaining in this class. Okay, please take a bye. See you. Please come back in the next class. Next class, I'm going to discuss independent form. Okay, bye. See you and take care.